Welcome to this video demonstrating how to use the randomization website for the Neogastric trial. The randomization program determines a baby's study number and the arm of the trial that they will enter and confirms that the baby meets the eligibility criteria for the trial. For babies recruited in the United Kingdom, it is also where their personal identifiable data is entered. Lastly, the screening log is also entered here. The randomization website for Neogastric is located at the URL on this page and should be accessible on most devices and browsers. It will also be possible to access the randomization website via a link on the Neogastric website at www.mpeu.ox.ac.uk forward slash Neogastric. In this video, I will be using the test randomization website. The only difference between this and the live version is the orange banner at the top, stating that I am on the test version. You can see the list of test sites here. On the live website, your hospital will be listed here once it's open to recruitment. The Neogastric study team will provide you with details of the login to use. For the purposes of this video, I'm going to log in as a test user based at the John Radcliffe Hospital. Once you have logged in, you will see the main page. The first option is to enter a baby into the study and clicking here will take you to the form to complete in order to randomize a baby. I will now enter some sample data for an eligible participant. If the baby is one of a multiple pregnancy and a sibling has already been recruited into the trial, you will need to give the study number of that sibling when randomizing the baby. This is so that multiples can be randomized to the same arm. I will then confirm that the baby meets the inclusion and exclusion criteria for the trial. Um, note that I have deliberately answered yes to one of the exclusion criteria here. Please remember as well that your forename, surname and professional email fields are also required fields that must be filled in before you can complete randomization of the baby. Once all the questions have been completed, click continue. You will see that the system will not let you continue if the baby is not eligible. However, let's assume in this case that the baby we are randomizing is eligible, so I'll change that answer. I will click continue again. This takes you to a summary page where you can review the data you have just entered. You can choose complete, amend or cancel. If I click amend, that takes me back to the previous screen and I can make changes to the data that I entered, like so. I can then hit continue to return to the summary screen. If I clicked cancel, that would take me back to the home page, clearing the form and not randomizing the baby. However, I'm going to go ahead and click complete to randomize this baby to the neogastric trial. After the baby has been randomized, you will see this screen, which shows the study number and the allocation assigned to the baby. This shows you that the baby has been successfully entered into the trial. There is also a print button on this page here. If you click on this, it will open a PDF of the data that you entered, which you can then save to your electronic site file or print as a hard copy for your records. For babies uh, recruited in the UK, there is also a button to enter some personal identifiable data for the baby, the Enter Contact Details button here. This short web form should be completed as soon as possible, ideally immediately after randomization. You will see this web form later in the video. Let's now return to the home page. You can see that the baby that you just randomized is now displayed in the list at the top of the home page here. Now let's enter data for another baby. I am going to enter the same date and time of birth and the same gestational age as I did for the baby that I just randomized. If I now go ahead and complete the form and then press continue, you will see that a warning has appeared flagging that this could be a duplicate randomization, that is randomizing the same baby twice. Um, if you get this warning, please check that the baby has not already been randomized and the details that you have entered are correct before proceeding. Again, I'm going to use amend to go back to the summary screen and change the details here. The randomization site sends the data you have entered to the Open Clinica data system. You can see, if we scroll down to the bottom of the list of infants, that the two that we just randomized are listed on Open Clinica. The system has created the baby's record on Open Clinica, so you do not need to do this manually. 
if we click on the, if we go to the baby's profile, we can also see that it has pre-filled a copy of the randomization form here with the data that you entered and also copied the, this data to sections one and two of the entry form. Once you have randomized the infant, section three of the entry form should be completed by someone delegated to do data entry. This section asks for baseline data. That concludes the demonstration of how to randomize a baby. If we go back to the randomization site homepage, we can see that there are some other menu items here. Recruitment list here will show a list of all recruits from your center. From this page, you can generate the PDF of the details you entered at randomization for any of the babies by clicking the print button. If you are based at a recruiting center in the United Kingdom, you can also access the contact details web, web form by clicking the enter edit button if you need to add or update personal identifiable data for any of the babies. You can see that clicking the enter edit button takes you to the short web form that I mentioned earlier. If you need to correct, add or update the infant's name, NHS number, badger ID or postcode, this is the best way to send us the information. You can see that we also ask on this form for the names of any hospitals to which the infant might be admitted for continuing care. Back on the randomization site web page, you can see that you can also access the screening log from here. This is expected to be completed monthly and is a log of all babies at your hospital with gestational age at birth less than 34 weeks and their eligibility status. Click on add baby to the screening log to add a baby to the list. Please note that you should not include any personal identifiers such as name or NHS number here. You can indicate on this question if the baby was ineligible for neogastric and the reason why here, or you can indicate that they were eligible and whether or not they were randomized. And if they weren't randomized, the reason for that here. And then you click save and you can see that that record has now been added to the screening log. You can also see that babies who are randomized are automatically added to the screening log along with their study number. That concludes the training video on the Neogastric Randomization website. Please reach out to the Neogastric team if you have any questions. Thank you for watching.